Welcome to my presentation on order of operations. So what we're going to do now is uh, give you a structure of how you should tackle a, a mathematical expression when it's maybe not initially clear on, on uh, I guess, what you should do first. Let me give you an example. If I were to tell you, uh, oh, whoops, I'm using the wrong color again. Here, OK. So if I had 7 plus 2 times Three. How do you interpret that? You know, one person might say, "Okay, I'm going to add seven plus two and get." So let's see. This is one way I could interpret it. I could say this is seven plus two, so that would be nine times three, and so that would be twenty-seven. But another person could say, "No, no, no, no. I think we should do the multiplication first. We should do the two times three first, and two times three is six, of course. So then we get seven plus six, and seven plus six is thirteen." So who did, who did it the right way? Do you just go straight left to right? Or um, for some reason, whatever, you do multiplication first? And I mean, we can't do it both ways, because clearly um, we, we, don't, we don't like to get two different answers for the, for the same problem, because otherwise, how can we um, mark people's questions wrong? No, 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 never mind. No, no, because we always want to just be consistent with each other. But anyway, so what is the correct way of tackling this problem? And that this is what the order of operations are all about. And I will now tell you what they are. So the first thing you should worry about when you look when you do order of operations is exponents. Expo uh, no, whoops! No, 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 no. I, I forget. Parentheses is first. Parentheses. The, Whenever you see parentheses, that tells you do this first. Then exponents. And if you don't know what an exponent is, don't worry. I'll, I'll show you some examples. Probably not in this video, but in the next one after this, because this one is uh, for more uh, a general or a younger crowd. Um, then you do multiplication, mult, multiplication and division. And then you do addition and subtraction. So let's do a couple. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The way I think about it, I mean, parentheses, I think, will almost make sense to you. They force you to do that part first. And then um, you, you kind of do the faster operations first. You know, Exponents will increase the number very, very quickly. While, um, no, man, I have, a, I have a call. Oh, never I'm going to ignore it, because you're more important. Anyway, you know, exponents are kind of a very fast operation, right? The numbers get big very fast. Multiplication and division, they're a little less fast. And addition and subtraction are kind of like the slowest way of operating on numbers. That's how I think about it. I apologize if that um, happens to confuse you. So let, let's do some examples. I think th this is all about practice. So watch this video and then do a ton of practice problems, uh, preferably on Khan Academy, and it should make some sense. So let me see. I'm using a new uh, tool for these recording these videos, so it's uh, OK, here we go. So let's say I had 3 plus 5 minus 3 times 6 divided by 2. That's divided by. I could have written a division sign there, too. So what do I do first? I have all these numbers. There's a bunch of different ways I could tackle it. Well, if you remember what I just wrote down, parentheses always first. So let's tackle the parentheses. So we tackle this part first. OK, that's fine. But now even within the parentheses, I'm not sure what I do first. So I'm in the parentheses. And then within the parentheses, well, let's see. I could do subtraction first. I could do multiplication first. And if you remember what I just wrote, we would do the multiplication first. So this is what we will tackle first, the 3 times 6. And so 3 times 6 is obviously 18. So then the, the expression becomes 3 plus 5 minus 18, right? Divided by 2. And actually, I could write it like no, that's a percent sign. Divided by. I'll write it divided by like that. But it could be that slash 2. I guess I'm always programming computer, and that's why I'm used to the this divided slash. But anyway, this is a division sign, just in case you don't know. OK, so back to what we had done before. We still have a fairly complicated expression, especially because I wrote it so messily over here. So what do I do next? Well, once again, parentheses first. Parentheses first. So we go into this parentheses, and there's only one thing I can do within this parentheses, is I can do 5 minus 18. Well, what's 5 minus 18? It's negative 13. So now I have 3 plus minus 13 divided by 2, right? And our next, and I could even, well, I'll leave the parentheses there, but you know, I'm just having parentheses around numbers. So my, the next thing is, do what do I do next? Do I do the, the addition, or do I do the division first? 
And uh, actually, when I was just thinking about this, I was tempted to do this first. But no, division comes ahead of addition. Correct? Uh, division and multiplication are kind of the same. I got kind of the same speed. That's how I view them. And um, addition and subtraction are are slower. So we do a division first. So we do the third negative thirteen divided by two. So we get three plus. So that you know this goes to this. And now we want to do the thirteen divided by two. What's negative thirteen divided by two? It's minus six point five. So it's minus six point five. Alright, that became minus six point five. And now there's nothing left to do. We have three plus minus six point five. Well that is minus three point five. And we are done. That was a little complicated, but all you have to remember, we did the parentheses first, and when we went within the parentheses, we did, we said, are there any other parentheses? No, but there's multiplication, so we did the multiplication we got here. Then we just did the rest of the parentheses, we got to the negative 13. Then we did the division before the addition, we got here, and then we just simplified the problem. Let's do another one, because I want your brain to hurt. If, if I can just learn how to use this tool I'm using. OK. What if I had 3 plus 5 times 2 minus 3 times 6? Huh. Well, the first thing we always look for is the parentheses. And so we go into this parentheses, we see this big parentheses, and then within that parentheses, there are more parentheses. So we keep kind of focusing in. Uh, and we see this parentheses right here. And let's, so this is the parentheses within the parentheses. So that's what we'll always want to do first. And so the value of 3 plus 5, well, that's easy. That's 8. So then we get 8 times 2 minus 3 times 6, right? Because we just took this, 3 plus 5 just became this 8. And what's, what do we do next? Well, we, once again, we have parentheses. So we do whatever inside the parentheses first. We do the 8 times 2. And the 8 times 2 is 16. So now we have 16 minus 3 times 6. Now what do we do next? Do we do the subtraction first, or do we do the multiplication first? Well, we do, we do the multiplication, because multiplication comes ahead of subtraction. Remember, parentheses first, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So let's do this next. So we have 16 minus 3 times 6. That's 16 minus 18. 16 minus 18 is minus 2. That's how we did it. Now let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you um, something that should hopefully be um, vaguely thought provoking. If I have 2 times 3 times 5. Does it matter whether I do 2 times 3 first or 3 times 5 first? Well, let, let's, let's test this out. If we do 2 times 3 first, 2 times 3 first, we get 6, and then we have that times 5. If we do the 3 times 5 first, we have 2 times 15. And then 6 times 5 is 30, and 2 times 15 is also 30. It didn't matter. and and and. You might say, well, maybe it only worked for this. Uh, Sal, you fixed the numbers. You picked the exact numbers that would uh, not matter which way I did it. And what I'm going to leave you as an exercise is to try it with any group of random numbers. And then you'll see that when you're doing only things of one level, if this was all multiplication and division, it wouldn't matter what order you did them in, left to right. And that's why in order of operations, you put multiplication and division at the same level. The same thing is true of addition and subtraction. You know, If, you, if I had 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 5, it doesn't matter what order I do this in, as long as I do the operations and I'll get to the same answer. The order of operations only matter when you start mixing the multiplication and the subtraction and the parentheses together. That's all I have time for right now. Um, have fun, do some practice, and I might record another video soon.